Hey guys, so today's video is very important for those who are going for Cognizant and who are qualified in Cognizant. First of all, congratulations to all of you who has qualified Cognizant. Now, if you are going for Cognizant, then you must watch this video completely because this video will give you all the answer, all the glimpse, everything, every detail about Cognizant, how you should, you know, you should prepare yourself before heading towards the Cognizant. So in this video, uh, today I am I would like to welcome Jay Singh, who is a 2020 pass out student and uh, he is presently working as a programmer analyst in Cognizant. Hi Jay, welcome to my channel and I'll be uh, posting his audio clip, not the video because he is a camera shy person. So I would totally respect his uh, his preference. So I have no issues with that. So now uh, you guys have to listen to him very carefully because he has covered each and every point with detail. So you have to listen him listen Listen very carefully this audio. Now, some of the glimpses I would like to give from this audio clip. You will get to know what are the programming language which you should know before heading towards the cognizant. So make a note of it. He is going to cover that. Is internship important or not? What is the advantages of doing an internship and what are the disadvantages? He will cover all these questions. Now he will be covering though even if you are not doing the internship, you are directly getting into the company then what will happen what will be the criteria of that that also he is going to cover now he will be also covering how you can get machine learning and artificial intelligent kind of project how you can get a good project he will be covering each and every detail of that too so listen to him very carefully guys now i'm going to play his audio hello guys my name is jessing i am currently working as a programmer analyst trainee in cognizant Today I am here to tell you what is the procedure after you have been placed in Cognizant. So let's start. So first comes the internship part or you can say the in, uh, industrial training part which uh, basically happens in your 8th semester. And uh, one of the questions which arises that what happens if you don't do the internship from the Cognizant. There is no, there is no such uh, thing which happens like uh, you don't have any effect in your placement offer if you haven't done any inter uh, internship with the Cognizant, it's upon you that whether you choose to do the internship with Cognizant or elsewhere you want. It's uh, just an complimentary if you have been placed with the uh, Cognizant, then they offer an internship. You, If you want to join, you can join. But yes, I would say if you have future plans to join Cognizant, then you must do the internship. It saves basically your time, I guess. So let's begin. So in case of internship, uh, there are two types of internship. One is online internship and second is the in-office internship. Uh, online internship is unpaid and in-office internship is paid. So let's uh, discuss what happens basically in the internship. So in the first two weeks of internship, you will be undergoing test. Uh, the test will be conducted uh, on the hacker rank platform, which will be basically testing your problem solving skills and SQL skills. So in case of problem solving, you will be given two options that is the java and uh, c hash to solve the question so on the basis of the scores which uh, you get in these tests you will be uh, given different domains so we are not basically told or uh, revealed the scores so i am just giving you an estimate that uh, in which which domain you will be assigned on the basis of the score so like if you solve all the questions there are basically three questions in sql and three questions in the programming i guess uh, so if you have solved 100 percent or you say you have solved uh, above 80 percent then there are high chances that you will be getting the domain of AI or data warehousing or IoT. Secondly if you score less like 70 percent something then uh, you will be getting the full stack development where you will be working with the Java stack that is basically Spring Boot and uh, Spring, where you will taught REST APIs and front end technologies, and also how to deploy an application on AWS and all. So, if you scored like less than 50% or you can say in the lowest ranks, then you will be given the testing domain, which we call as quality assurance. Uh, so, what happens in the quality assurance domain that there are also some sub levels in it. So, if you have scored top in the quality assurance domain, 
like uh, in the uh, under 50 range like 0 to 50 you have scored like more than 40 percent I guess you have solved all the SQL questions and one Java questions so if this is the proportion like mainly you have solved all the SQL and some of the Java question then there are most probable chances that you will be getting the automation testing part you are required to code and the testing happens in the Java uh, and Selenium um, Selenium is basically a framework which uh, you will be taught as well as you will be taught some part of the CI CD pipeline also that is the DevOps part. So uh, after that there comes the second batch in the quality assurance that is the uh, you can say the uh, SOAP and UFT uh, which is a combination of you can say manual testing and automation testing both. So uh, you get these types of domains on the basis of your marks. The pro tip here I would like to give you is that after you have gotten campus placement with Cognizant before joining you have like one to two months gap. So in that period of time I will suggest you to practice all the questions of Java, SQL and programming pro problem solving and problem solving should uh, be done in uh, Java only preferably okay, to get a grasp of what types of question are in hacker rank. So you can solve or you can crack this very easily and if you scored high you have the chances to work with the greatest and the latest technologies because basically in the company they don't see that what you know oh they see e, what you know oh, in the part of your basics because basics is something which is very important and if I say basics it's like your problem solving SQL L and uh, databases is database management you can say the theoretical concepts of a database as well as your OS and networking part these are the basic things which are test in placement and also have uh, as you join the company company wants it because the new technologies anyone can learn very easily I say okay. so the companies only focus us that do you know the basics or not and for the new technologies they are ready to train you so the internships ends in the period of like April or May basically based on this will be totally based on what type of domain you have been offered uh, and how much long their internship or you can say their curriculum is. So once the internship gets over at the end of internship you are required to make some projects on the basis of which there will be a short interview. So now let us come to the uh, full time offer. So the internships end in uh, like uh, May or June somewhere uh, and the fullest time uh, full time offers uh, mails start coming around uh, I guess July mid or August. So it totally depends you do not need to worry that I am not getting in my full time of uh, joining in dates and my other friends are getting it. It totally depends on them uh, on the basis of the requirement and they send you the uh, this uh, offer. So in the first two like first two weeks of uh, after you have joined company as a full time there will be lots of formalities of like background verifications, your uh, bank account, your health insurance, think these types of things happens. After that at if you have completed an internship with the Cognizant then you will be getting the project calls also. And those who have directly joined the company, they didn't do any type of internship, then they will be going under three to four months of curriculum um, on uh, you can say a, a training period of three to four months will be for them. Um, and all the things which you have been taught in the internship, the same procedure will be a for them. And uh, according to the requirements, they will be taught different different things. And so for, uh, after you have joined the uh, yeah the full time at the full time and so you will be uh, so you will get uh, project calls and what happens basically in the project call that there will be a uh, short interview oh, with the client and also with the project manager to know what technology you know or you can say what technology uh, knowledge you have on which you have been trained in the uh, uh, internship period. Uh, and after you have been selected for a project, you will be given time to upgrade your skills and there will be meeting, there will be agile, will, uh, you can say agile software development where you will, will go different phases and you will understand the procedure, how it happens, the real software development, how it's happened. It's basically about more planning rather than more coding one. 
so these are the things which happens in the campus uh, placement or you can say after you have got an offer in the cognizant so now let's come to the pro tip and some faqs so if someone has an uh, offer with cognizant and they haven't done the internship what happens to them if you haven't done the internship then after joining campus placement uh, sorry after joining company you will be going under 2 3 months of of uh, like uh, industrial training you can say uh, and that totally depends on the project you can get any technology you can't choose technology here uh, yes uh, it can happen when you have spent like 1 to 2 years with cognizant then you can select the technology on your preference just the matter uh, of fact is that you must know the technology you won't be getting like 4 to 5 months again to train in it you will be getting a short span of time of to uh, one to two months to get trained with the technology and work on the project and secondly a second faq is what is the uh, time period uh, uh, at which you will be getting the offers so there is no fixed time period you can get an offer uh, after like soon after your uh, one or two weeks after you have completed uh, your internship or it can take up to 2 3 months but it is sure that you will get your offer letter uh, uh, from the cognizant and now comes to the pro tip the pro tip is just practice your basics java sql data structures and algorithms and computer networks and operating systems before joining cognizant or if it goes in case of any companies please practice your basics and as today the companies are moving so if you want to have an upper edge you can learn any cloud technologies because i have seen the trend of cloud technology is being very dominant right now after lockdown on and after everything shift and work from home the cloud is going crazy azure or aws one of the things any, any you want any of it whatever you want uh, and also you can learn any of the technologies there will you will always have an upper edge if there is a chance of getting a project so these are the things which you need to consider when you join cognizant and this is the procedure what happens hence it is an overview for more you can ping me with your questions hope this audio clip was very helpful to you guys so if you have any queries if you have any question post feel free feel to post your question in the comment section i'll be answering all of your questions Now if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please go ahead and subscribe to my channel you'll get very more informative videos on my channel thank you for watching